What's up, everyone? It's your boy Jermaine. Back with another video. And in this video, I am going to go to the top of uh, Dolores Park. Well, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna make a left. I like this way. If you don't know anything about Dolores Park, Dolores Park is a really cool park. You know, it was some trick named Dolores back in the day. Ah, I'm just joking. Like, uh, I, I'm just like crapping. I don't know if that's true. It actually might be some trick named Dolores, but I was just kind of BSing. <laughs> but for the most part, I'm not going to act like I'm like a tour guide or something. But let's just go make it. I've never. I don't think I've ever been to this intersection before. Look at that little shop. 18th and... No, 19th and... Oh, wait. Wow, it, it, it feels fancy up here. So, uh... Bright. And, and... On top of a hill. So if you've never been to the city, one thing that's kind of interesting that I see in the city often is these things here. So basically this here is a, it's a porta potty for construction workers. And, and they have to cover it in a box. Sometimes they don't, but I think if they don't, they get like fined by the city or something like that. But it's just very common, especially when you're in like fancy neighborhoods, like you're in like Pack Heights or something. You see these just everywhere because in Pack Heights, Rich people always are like, you know, uh, creating jobs and adding onto their house <laughs> and, you know, getting money from the bank with low interest rates. But that that's not really happening so much right now in the city. You know, let's not talk about interest rates because <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. But anyway, these are some steps if y'all want to go up these steps. These are some really sick steps. I've, I've actually never walked up this steps before. Super touristy in the city right now. Super touristy. But I'm gonna get a shot of this hill right here. There's a bunch of, um, looks like there's traffic. No, there's no traffic. Get that hill. Yeah, we got these walkways. Actually, let's go up the steps, why not? Let's do it. Let's go up. I have to put the camera on the front. And then I'll lock the bike up and we'll like go up the steps. Why not? Let's do it. We can like lock up at like uh, what? 19th, 19th in Sanchez. Yeah, whatever that is. My bike is so dirty. Bike is dirty because of the rain. So much like, rain in the forecast. I can't lock up here. I had to go across the street or something. The pole is too big. Um, so rule of thumb, if you have a bicycle in San Francisco, I recommend that you get these like these kryptonite. Forget about locks. They're really big. Your average bolt cutter is, does not open this wide to cut these locks. And if someone wanted to cut a lock like this, they would probably have to use angle grinders. And if they use an angle grinder, they would probably completely shred their um, angle grinder on this lock. So it's a really good lock to have because when people see it, they're going to be like, if I don't have a blowtorch, or a van or something like that. I like guess probably not gonna steal that bike, but who's really running around with a van and a blowtorch? The thing about a van and a blowtorch, that's, that's, that's a little too much. You're gonna get caught with all these ring cameras in a neighborhood like this, you know? They're gonna see the license plate. They're gonna connect the dots. They're gonna figure it out. Dang, got really traffic to do all of a sudden. Yeah, let's go over here. I don't know, if you get you a lock that's more than 16 millimeters, 
you're gonna be safe for the city. And if you want a lock that's 16 millimeters and larger, you're probably gonna be looking at a lock that costs over $100. If you get a lock that costs over $100, um, I'm talking about you probably got a 90% chance of your bike not being stolen. But if you get a lock that's under, you know, 14 millimeters, your lock's probably gonna, your bike's probably gonna get jacked real, real quick. Because someone can have like boat cutters in an outfit like I'm wearing right now. And they can have the, out, the, the boat cutters here, under here. And they can be walking around. They could be walking up these steps. And they can walk up the steps and go right to the pole and like you know, steer your bike. But if you got an 18 millimeter and larger lock, it's probably not gonna happen. Boat cutters are gonna make too much noise and they're also gonna make, they're probably gonna destroy the boat cutters. I don't mean to talk about like, you know, bike theft in the city, but maybe I should. Because <laughs> it happens a lot. Of... But anyway, forget about bike theft in the city. This is a really awesome view. I've never been here before. Hey, we are all experiencing, experiencing this together. Yeah. Weird. Steph. Ramp. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Alright, let's take the ramp. Oh, cool. And then there's steps. Wow. What the heck was that? It's really weird. Hmm, this is what it looks like, huh? Let's continue to go up. It's like there's like a, a place to the left. I've never been here before. Look at that little house. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can say, I live at the top of the hill. I got a view. Oh, there's so many Teslas here. <laughs> Tesla! <laughs> this here is uh, Sutra Tower. If you guys don't know about Sutra Tower. It's another San Francisco landmark. It's kind of one of those things that the city's known for is one big Sutra Tower, that sort of thing. And over here, this looks like another street. I've been on this street. I can't exactly tell you what the name of the street is, but we're, we're gonna go near the street. I think this is 19th Street, by the way. <sighs> no, it's not 19th Street. 19th Street, it's one up, one up. Let's check this out. We're gonna go down. Weather's so nice right now. Weather's super nice. I guess the sun's over here, so I should probably hold a camera in this direction. This is the city. Definitely an angle I've never seen before. Let's go back down and get the bike before someone in a van with, you know, a blowtorch cut my lock. Remember what I was talking about? <laughs> I think I've just give out the secret. <laughs> but actually that's not a secret because there's so many one thing about the city that I don't hear a lot of people talk about is the surveillance that the city has, right? 
and this is why like it's really hard for people to get away with a lot of things in the city because the surveillance in the city is off the chain and i don't really know too much about it this is things i've heard from the city but i spent a lot of time in london and i've heard people say that if you think the surveillance in london is insane you should probably check out san francisco but the thing about san francisco like with, with the whole like app culture with like the nest the, i think it's nest app or like you have the the doorbell thing and it can track the neighborhoods with the whole nest app thing who knows i i, I don't really follow nest app because i i used to be on nest app quite a quite a bit nest app got to be very depressing if you like me like it got to be very depressing because people would do things like they were, it was just always negative. It was always like crime, 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 crime. That was the only thing about it. It was nothing positive about it. But, um, I don't know. What was I going? Let's get to the bike. I was going somewhere with the Nest app, but this is like kind of like a in real life video. It's not like a stream. Uh, I'm just gonna get the bike and go down the hill and we'll kind of hang out at the bottom. It's a stunning day. Such a nice day. Let's grab the bike. I wonder, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Interesting. That happens in real life. But if you're the type of YouTuber where you edit everything, you can just always edit that part out. Why? What, what's going on here? What the fuck? There was a bee. All right. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna get off here because there's some people walking up and I was like, talking to the camera but they probably think I'm a crazy person because I'm talking and it appears to be I'm talking to myself and I'm black and I'm in this neighborhood <laughs> you know so I'm like fuck <laughs> it's cool let's get out of here bro let's go to this park and things will be completely different like I'll probably have people eye fucking me over at this park but over at that intersection it's like um those people kind of look like tourists, actually. They didn't look like the dominant people that run this city. Um, you know, kind of like, like weekend type people. Oh, this is Dolores. I'm not going to go this way, actually, because... I'm on the bike. I like the... I'm going to go around. Also, at the top, there's like a toilet. I want to show y'all. I'm probably not going to use it because I think I'm doing like a straight, like 30 minute video. So, how do I use it? Hey, how you doing? There's some, there's some thick girls in that car, bro. Some real thick chicks. I'm going to keep it real, dude. Man, I used to love thick chicks, but like today, man. They cool, you know, we're gonna leave it right at that. Cause that's how you do it, you know? You just, whoa, holy sh wow, dude, look at this. What the heck is going on? I need to take this, I need to take this, this, this jacket off. Look at this freaking park. I ain't, I haven't been to Dolores in a minute, bro. It's been like, get out of here, non-driving people. I haven't been to, whoa, look at Dolores, bro. This is popping off, bro. We need to get right over there and take these hoodies off. Yeah, let's show some skin, dog. <laughs> Loris is popping right now, bro. God, I see why the Castro is weak, dude. No one wants to be in the Castro right now. Dolores is off the chain, dude. I can't wait for autonomous cars to take over. So I'm gonna keep it real. Like this thing right here, I'm gonna keep going by it, but it's off, off to the left, it's a toilet. So, dude, this is dope. Uh, she can unlock the bike up to here. Maybe. Let's see. I have to watch out around him because, like, people walk around naked around here. So, I don't want to, like, put that shit, like, you know, along too much. <laughs> because. I'll edit it. I see. Will this work? Yes, it works. 
But the thing is, if someone cuts this fucking, if someone cuts this loud, they can still my bike. So what I'll do is do this. That's not working. Ooh, but this will. That's actually not gonna work any different. All right, it's my, all right, it's locked up, but it's not gonna work any different. If someone cuts that lock on the top, that's still my bike, but it won't work so great. Why well, have I never been here before? So I can kind of, like, I have been here, but I haven't been here in, since before COVID, bro. Like, no joke. This is nuts, dude. So basically, um, pretty much what we got going on here is the top of the hill is uh, it's very like queer, right? And when you go down the hill, it's um, it kind of goes from queer to not as queer, and top of the hill is much warmer because this is Dolores Park. There's less wind at the top, but at the bottom, there's less wind. But I think the top is warmer because it's closer towards the sun. Also, this place is just really, really cool to hang out at. I haven't been here in quiet. To be talking. It's, 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 this is bringing back so many memories actually when I first moved to the city with 17 minutes. Uh, I guess this is like walk around. All right. <laughs> cool. um, so here is a train station. This is the train. If you want to, you can take this all the way to like downtown, all the way to Embarcadero. Civic Center in Bracadero. Uh, I always do stuff like that when I hear a lot of music walking by. Because it, even in these in real life videos, I still have to edit the videos. And the reason why I have to edit the videos is because if I don't, like, I would just have to do the whole 30 minutes of making the video, right? And then after I do the whole 30 minutes of making the video, I have to, like, take it off the memory card and put it on the computer. That takes maybe like another five minutes, right? And then after that five minutes, I have to like take the two video clips and I have to edit them together. So that takes like another like 35 minutes. You know, if it's 30 minute video, maybe it's gonna be like 40 minutes, right? Of just the editing part. Nelson! Nelson! Is that Nelson? Nelson! <laughs> What's up? Um, so it's crazy, but like, I'm like... I, I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm No, it's okay, like, I'm making an in real life video. Wait, I'm what? making an in real life video. Right now? Yeah. What the fuck are your YouTube channel about? I mean... Well, you're not in the video. Like, I'm facing this way. So it's cool. <laughs> yeah, because I, I want to respect y'all, you know? <laughs> but I just have to go for... No, 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 you're not... Trust me, bro. Like, you're not in the video. You're not... You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, girl, I, I'm happy to see you. No, I'm going to go for like five more minutes and I'll come back and I'll talk to you. Okay, girl, have yeah. fun. Huh? I'll be real. I'll be. I'll be right back. Like five minutes. Okay. All right. Let's go back. We're gonna go down this way. So, you know, I uh, one weird thing about living in the city is people really get to know you really fast, right? And they get to know what you do, and I don't know. You know, when people know you stream, sometimes if they don't want to be on stream, they don't want to be on stream and you you can kind of pick that energy up you know so that's why I like film the way I do a lot of the times when I film because I don't want to like piss people off right like I want to live here 
But anyway, that is um part of the day. Wow, this, this park's nuts, yo. Check this out. Maybe we should like like walk through the park. That would be really cool. I kind of don't because it might be some like it might be some like nudity, you know. Like I don't know if I want to just like walk through the park, but what I'll do because I have to. To go to the toilet, but there's another toilet over here. But there's also a guy's toilet over here. I think I'm gonna go down and cross over this bridge here, and then I'll walk up that to the guy's toilet, and then I'll end the video, and then I'll go walk back over and hang out with those folks because they're like really cool people. Water's for a dollar, Modelo's for three, ice cold. Oh, thanks. The water's for a dollar? That sounds legit, bro. Yo, let me get one of them dollar waters. Yeah, bro. Yes. All right, thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, cool. So we can also buy waters at Dolores Park. Okay. So... Let's go on an adventure, let's go here. This is not where you're supposed to go, actually. You're supposed to go like... I mean, if you want to go down, you should probably go that way, but like, you don't want to go here because technically, like, I could probably get like a ticket or some shit because I'm like on the train station, but no jury will it, will it be like, yo, you're a bad person because I like straight up told y'all this is proof. Like I'm not supposed to be here. I'm telling y'all that I'm not supposed to be here. So it's chill. And not that many trains go through here, bro. This city's freaking dead. I mean, it's a great city, but like, I mean, the trains are dead in this neighborhood because this neighborhood is like, We'll just leave it at that. It's definitely no east cut. You're not supposed to go this way. That's why they have this thing here. I'm not tripping. I'm just gonna freaking go around. Because that's what all the mission kids do. If you don't know what the mission kids are, they, they're the, the rascals that live around here, bro. And they go to that school right on the side of this park. It's like right over there. You can't see it because of this bridge. Well, trust me. Kids that go to the mission mission school, badass kids, bro. Like for real, when you see them coming, run another way. I, I don't mean that like in a bad way. I'm just trying to be like, you know, kind of funny about it. Like they're good kids. Like I met some mission folks. There's this chick I know that lives in Tahoe. She's from Mission High School. You know, from the city. But it seems like when people leave the city, they like, hate the city. What we get on the time on this video. 23 minutes. Dang, I'm gonna have to like sit down and like roll a joint or something, bro. Dang, these 30 minute videos are getting long. <laughs> All right, let's sit down here. Uh, I still wanna go visit the people across the street. Yes, this is my bottle top. So I have this rule of thumb, whenever I drink waters like this, I always like bend the tops so it won't go back. So it won't go back on the bottle. And then that's why I'm like forced to drink the water. All right, we done with the water. We are done with the water. Oh my gosh, I feel so much, so much better now. So Dolores Park is, I don't know the really, I don't know the history of Dolores Park. It's not, it's not exactly touristy. It's more of a, a 
people that live here, they kind of go here. It's not like you see a lot of folks from outside the city come here. It's a really cool park. You know, it borders the mission. This is 20th here. This here is um, Dolores. This intersection here is church. So if you're at 20th in Dolores, if you go down, you'll hit Guerrero, which is not too much at Guerrero. But then if you go down one more block to Valencia, you see a lot of you see a lot of restaurants. You see a lot of action. Depending on what time of week you go there, you might see. Let me wipe the camera off. You might see a lot of um, like people out in the street. You might see the streets closed off. Valencia Street is a really um, it's kind of a, a kind of happening place. For the most part, I don't really hear about Valencia Street being as touristy. When I go to Valencia Street, I don't think of, I don't think of like tourists, right? But there's sort of a tourist route. Valencia Street doesn't really, doesn't really incorporate, you know, the the tourists as much. But if you are a tourist, there's a lot to see, you know, in Valencia. There's a lot of good, you know, uh, Mexican restaurants. There's really good Mediterranean restaurants on Valencia and then right after Valencia is the the famous Mission Street and the Mission Street is not as um it's a lot more local for the most part it's not as gentrified as Valencia Valencia there's um there's a lot of restaurants on Valencia that are you know fancy we'll leave it at that and then if you go past Valencia you will kind of start to the neighborhood so if you go past well Valencia Mission if you go past Mission you know you'll hit South Venice and once you hit South Venice it's not like Mission and it's not like Valencia it's it's South Venice you know uh, there's also a street between South Venice and Mission I don't want to say say the name of the street but if you look on Google Maps and if you look at 20, you might see the name of the street. I think they had a, a couple problems on the street. This was kind of a, sort of an, an alley type street. It wasn't like a main street, like Mission. I would kind of say it's a main street. Lots of buses go down Mission. Valencia. Valencia is, um, it, it, it kind of gets the main street category because Mission, there are those bike lines, this kind of uh, slower traffic on Mission. On the flip side, South Van S is um, kind of one of those streets that used to be two lanes. After the whole cough cough, they turned the two lanes into one lane and they made this like, uh, middle lane down the middle they basically kind of want to slow traffic on South NS. so that's kind of what, what what South NS is like and then after South NS, there's like you know I, th I, I, th I think it's like Howard and Folsom and Bryant and, and you know we're just not gonna sit here and just you know name off all the streets right no more but what we'll do is we'll sit here and show Valencia not show Valencia, show Dolores Park. And that's pretty much what we got going on here. Gosh, I really have to go to the toilet there's some really beautiful houses just tucked away in this neighborhood I'm, I'm not gonna really point out too many beautiful houses because um some places i go uh they um you know they don't want me to uh, show the sun sun so i'm gonna go this way but right up here i'm probably gonna stop the video soon there's another stairwell and this way there is a um there's a, a dude's toilet which is really awesome this is the park here stunning park lots of awesome people hanging out having a blast and i'm gonna wrap this video up 
I mean, they go to the, they, they do toilet up here. These are really popular in Europe, in the party district, but in America, they're not so popular. San Francisco put one here for the guys, but I want them to put more down in the, down in the city. You know, this is the city over here, see the buildings. But yeah, we're at the top of the park, it's really awesome. The weather's nice. I got some hoodies on and I'm ready. I'm gonna, it's time to undress. <laughs> but anyway, I'm out. Like, I'm gonna subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. And peace out, yo. Still wearing my helmet. Walking around wearing a helmet. No, it's so bad. It's so unattractive. But anyway, I'm out. Bye bye.